it's creating quite the scene, leaving a lot of things covered. Fox 55's Gentile Neal is outside now to show us what it's like out there. Gentile. Hunter, there was a lot of sliding going on, and there's going to be a lot more of this in the morning. As you can see, the snow came down full throttle, so we still have some schools and businesses monitoring the weather to figure out what their next move is going to be. The Indiana Department of Transportation has a full call out of plows and snow trucks on the roads for those who cannot stay home tomorrow. But if you can, Nicole Thomas with NDOT says you definitely should. You know, if school's canceled, you don't have to go to work, stay home. There's at least about an inch of snow now, but we could see more. And that has schools like Purdue Fort Wayne University, Fort Wayne Community Schools, and other districts closely monitoring the conditions. Yeah, you know, and this is one of the first snows that we've had that actually is going to kind of hit overnight and into the morning, so there may be some delays. Purdue Fort Wayne already applied de icers to the campus sidewalks. The upper levels of the parking garages one, two, and three will be closed. If there are classes tomorrow, Nicole Thomas suggests taking your time. Check the road conditions before you go. We have color-coded road conditions on our online map at indot.carsprogram.org. Um, our foreman and maintenance professionals are out taking stock of what the roads look like and they are putting that information into that app. So with the snow, ice is expected, so it's definitely recommended to take your time wherever you're going and to drive slow. Nicole from NDOT says that they will have crews working well into the morning hours. Live in Fort Wayne, Gentile Neal, Fox 55 News. And some schools are already on a delay for tomorrow. Visit WFFT.com to check out a full list of school delays.